praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I am so thankful that I have another opportunity to be in the house of God one more time. I am so glad that He brought me out and He brought me in. Yes. You know, the Lord done something for me a week and a half ago. And every night I'm at work, I just keep thinking, if it is real. It's real. I remember when I, before I get to that, when I was in Jamaica, when we were looking about the papers to come here, and you know, it's a long process. And I had to wait two years back there before we could get through to come. And the day when we went up to the immigration and they said, come back two o'clock, they give you a piece of blue paper. You know, when you get a piece of blue paper like this, you know that you're, you're almost there. And the paper, when I looked at it, it said, picked up your visa at 2 p.m. And I take the paper, I know that wasn't the visa, but you know, I didn't know if I need to squeeze it up in my hand. I didn't know what to do. Then when two o'clock come and I go back up there and they put us over to that side, so you know the people that over on the other side, they're the people who is gonna get the papers to come here. And when they call names and everybody name begin to call and they call bridge to my name and they call and I went up to the window and he said, here is your visa. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Welcome to the United Bless States. The he's telling me welcome God. and he's in Jamaica. But yes. they're immigration officer, United States immigration officer. And when I take the paper, sister and brother Marlon, and church, I did not know what to do. I did not know if I want to cry, if I want to drum, if I want to holler. I, I just can't find words to express it. The joy that was in here. And when, I, when, I, when something finally comes out, it was tears running down. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're overjoyed, you cry. And when you're in sorrow, you cry also. But the writer said, tears is a language yes. that God yes. understands. Yes. You know, and when, when we get through to come here and when I really set foot <coughs> in Miami International Airport and I look back, I said, am I really here? Yeah. Right. Am I really here? Thank you oh, yeah. know, something oh. ever happened to you and you really what think about it? Oh. You don't know where God has brought me from. Come on. Oh. You know, you all need to go to Jamaica and to, here we have nice pew that we can come and sit down and worship, place to run around, you take your shoes off and nothing not getting into the bottom of your feet. You know what I mean? Yes. And you know, we, we would go and journey to church some long way we had to go. Yes. And we still go and worship God as never before. Yes, should it? And then we come, I come here. And I find myself get so comfortable. Yes. I need to That's get out it. of my comfort zone. I tell you what God has done for me. I said he brought me from a mighty long way. I have come thus far and now he's not going to leave me. You know, he do something for me last week and I still can't believe him. I was at work Saturday night and I thought about it. I said God is for real. You know, sometimes somebody tell you that they love you, and sometimes it go through one ear and it come through the other. And ever since I've been in this church, I know everybody shows me love. Yes. But sister and brother Marlon Church, the ministry, if you could ever cut my heart right now. Hallelujah. If you could see what's inside of my heart right now. I thank you for the love Amen. that you have shown me ever Amen. since I come to this country. Amen. Dear child. Amen. Go ahead. I've never been Lord. alone. Amen. My husband is not here, but I'm not alone. Right. No. I said I'm not alone. Amen. 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 God is so good. Oh, if you have never done anything for 
before me again for the rest of my life. I want to praise Him. I want to serve Him. Comes what me. Suffering, I want to serve Him. Hungry, I want to serve Him. Homeless, and I know none of that is not going to happen. Because he said he, David said he was young and now he's old. You have never seen the righteous forsaken. You all might not know why I'm crying. Some of you might know. But I'm telling you, God is good. I say he's real. He is real. Certainly as a life for us today, he is real. I am not guessing it. I am not thinking about it. I know, and I know that I know. That God is real. Amen. I don't have words Amen. enough tonight to Amen. thank you for the love that everybody has showed me. And more than all, I want to thank the Lord for loving me. He loved me when I'm up and He loved me when I'm down. He loved me when I'm wrong and He loved me when I'm right. And I want to stay in the right. You pray for me. I'm not there yet, but I'm striving to be. They have a tree, a tree that, you know, it's good when we, the babies have coal, you boil it and give it to them to drink and, you know, the coal go away. We call it the tree of life. I have a plant at home. I just get a little piece like this when Sister Jennifer was here and it spread out now into a big bunch like that. You know, it's called the leaf of life. If you pull it up and throw it down, it grow. If you plant it in the ground, it grow. Anything at all you do with it, it grow. It survive. I was going on to the back of my house the other day and I have a lily that I planted like two years ago. And sometimes I notice I don't see it at all. The, when it's summertime, it's like it's gone and it will never come back. And when I was taking out the garbage and I looked at it, it was this tall again. Green and so beautiful. Oh, thank you. you know, I want my root to go down. Yes, Way down. Yeah. I want it to go down where the source is. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to stay there. Amen. Where I'm sustained. Amen. I want to stay in the ship. Paul encouraged the, the, the sailors that was traveling with him. He said, except you abide. In the ship. I say I want to stay on board. I want to stay on board. The fear is already paid. And I'm waiting for the better land. Pray for me. I mean to serve him. Not only because he do something for me. I want to love him when I have something. And I want to love him when I don't have anything. Because I know if all he asks me to do is to just live. Just live for him and he will do the rest. You pray for me in Jesus' name.